Okay, so we're back to do the second part of the treatment for this peripheral nerve and trap. Actually, what, sorry, so what were you saying before, Seb? You thought you'd be feeling it more when you were Rock climbing. climbing. Yeah. yeah, because of the load. And, well, yeah. Yeah, because you're anchoring off your arm and obviously putting... Yeah, when I had locked out and loading it this yeah. morning, I thought I would feel some pain, but then nothing, feeling pretty good. Okay, good. Well, that's a good result. I mean, that's a quick turnaround for, mind you, you came and saw me pretty quick on. Most people will probably leave it two or three weeks, you know, and then by the time it's really embedded itself. So quicker you get in, the quicker you can get on top of it, better the resolution time as well. Right, so peck mine it now. I'm, I'm mindful, I'm, and I'm really mindful about my pressure with Seb because um, I've only worked on him a couple of days ago, so he's probably still feeling a bit raw in this area here. So we'll just make sure that we've got our pressure right. Um, no, no rocket science here with these sort of um, techniques. Um, as long as you're engaging, working through the tissue, that's the most important thing. So once again, we're going to use the original. I'm hitting his pec minor. <clears throat> so find your coracobrachial. Oh, sorry, coracobrachialis. You do find that, but coracoid process. So we're just going to come in here, obviously with like almost a little bit of braced fingertips. All right. So it's all about saving your hands and your fingers. So we're only going to be working about that far. Okay. So it's up to you in terms of how you position your clients. Um, how's that pressure there, Seb? Is that, that's not, you can handle that? Yeah, yeah. okay. So normally I'd, I'd probably go a little bit deeper, but because he's probably got a little, a little bit of post stream and so on, so we're going to do that. So just working through. Okay, so it's not, as I said, as long as you're feeling the fibres working along that pec minor. And then what I can do is just bring his arm out a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to open it up a little bit more. Like so. A little bit more. And rest there. So we're just opening up that range of movement a little bit. Okay, and then I can just come in with a little bit of a passive relief technique. So I'm going to use soft part. This is a very soft, um, put a little bit more on there, Seb. Could have shaved for me. <clears throat> so I'm just going to come just soft a little bit. There's his deltoid coming around here. He's got a big, healthy deltoid. Internal rotation to external rotation. Okay, beautiful. Handle that, pressure's all right, so yeah. No strong feedback there, so everything's feeling good. A lot less hypertonic too. Yep, yeah, that's great, all right. So just, as you can see, just trying to open up that area around that pec minor, so. A bit of extra range. So you'll notice if you're doing this technique too, if they're starting to get some shoulder issues, you know you've got some area, some work to do in that shoulder as well. But obviously we don't have that with Seb today, which is awesome, because normally he does have shoulder issues, loaded. Okay, good, terrific. Okay, so there is another couple of techniques um, that I can do for, for pecs. Um, obviously I can come underneath here, get a towel and just sort of like mobilise underneath the tissue here, but um, I really don't need to do that today with Seb. Um, I'm not going to put him through that. But once again, it, it's sort of a more of a soft tissue mobilisation. Pick up pec minor right out of the way. Come underneath with your fingers. I'll do this with a towel usually. And then I'll just find the edge of the pec minor and then I can just sort of mobilise the tissue that way as well. So I'm lifting the pec minor up in this position here. Okay. It's a soft tissue mobilisation, but you know, as I said, Seb's feeling so much better through that area. Now, every now and then, I might need to do some work on the short head of biceps or the coracobrachialis if they're involved as well. Um, <clears throat> pretty confident pec minor was enough for him, but if you are working with coracobrachialis, um, obviously you're going to come right up underneath here. How do you find coracobrachialis? It's in between your bicep and your tricep. Okay, so you're not going in here, up through this area here. Basically what you do is you get your clients to push their elbow into you. Push, 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 and bang, up comes his coracobrachialis. Okay, so it'll pop up right under your fingers. So then you know that you're that on that. 
In terms of working this muscle, then obviously you're going to come a little bit distal from it, okay? And then you work down. So basically what I do here is I'm just pushing back. If you feel, um, if your clients are feeling any paresthesia or pins and needles, you're on a nerve. So get off it, okay? We're not getting any of that. So just working down through there. So sort of depress the shoulder at the same time and work right up. And that trigger point be right up, tucked away, right up near that coraco, coracoid process. You're not going to get all the way there. There's too much tissue there. So, so that's a bit of coraco brachialis. <clears throat> and then short headed biceps. Once again, problem with short headed biceps, you've got to get through um, deltoid to get to it. So you know, in terms of actually getting right onto it um, and getting work, you're going to have to purchase through that. Um, that deltoid, which by all means you can, depending on the client and so forth. So yeah, this is sort of the approach I take. I'll just take him down, wrist ex elbow extension, and working along like so, okay. But I'm pretty happy that that's okay. Right, now that we've done that, let's just quickly check your rate. We know what your median nerves, right? So we've had a good change with that already just with the neck work. So. Let's see what your radial nerves again like. Okay, so about there. Okay, so not far off ninety actually. That's pretty good. Okay, still bicep, uh, or has it gone down? Lower half. Lower half. Okay, great, because that's where the radial nerve comes, wraps around here, comes down to here. So, next part will be chasing the restriction.